We're now going to look at creating our own coding variables. Often we can use the existing variables, such as the, pet, uh, the primary pet of purchase, but sometimes we want to create it ourselves. Really important that we do turn off any split file or select cases. All good? All good. So now we're dealing with the entire data set. So it's a, it's a very valuable thing to be able to analyze data with grouping variables derived from the data itself. So things that weren't variables we already collected. So for example, you may wish to compare purchase history across age groups. Um, we've measured age as an ordinal variable, sorry, as a ratio variable. So if we round the output with split file and age as the grouping variable, we would get the results, but approximately a hundred times because there are so many different ages that are present um, in this data set that would act, each of them acting as their own group. Obviously that would be unfeasible, the quality of the data would be poor. So we might want to put it into some of our own groups and use that to compare it. So we're going to do this for age groups of people 18 to 25, 26 to 45 and 46 plus. To do this, we need to create new variables. SPSS can't read our minds. So we go transform up the top, recode into different variables. Now, again, if we recode into same variables, we'll overwrite the existing data. We want to create a new variable that we'll use for our coding. Just change shape. So we need to select the variable that we're going to use to create our new variable. So the variable that it will start with before it will then create the new one. So you want to go age, double click. We now need to give the new variable a name. So we might do age underscore ordinal because now we're going to do a grouping variable on this. Now we can obviously change these variables and label names later in the variable view but if we do it now it's an easier way to make it a little bit more efficient. So we'll go 1 equals 18, 2 equals sorry 18 to 25 keeping in mind that we can actually use spaces and things like that when we're in the variable component not so much in the label sorry not in the variable component but in the age component sorry, label component. Um, so we've got our two ordinal groups there, one representing anyone 18 to 25, two being those 26 to 45, three 46 plus. You could obviously do those in whichever way you'd like. We now hit change. SPSS tells us over here that it's made that change. We now need to tell the computer what are the old and the new variables. So because we have a whole range of different variables, we need to go through this process. So the easier way, we could do it by individual values where we would go 18 equals one, add. 19 equals one, add. But obviously that would be very, very time consuming. So what we can do instead is use range. 18 through 25 equals one, add. 26 through 45 equals two, add. And then we can do, instead of doing, 40, we could do 46 to 100, for example, because we know the maximum age of our data set is under 100. What's a more effective way? Range value through highest. And if we just do 46 through there, it will do all the way up to 46 plus. Okay, we now have our new variable and the output tells us we've actually created a new variable. So if we were to go into that one, age journal, we can see that all of these people have been given now grouping variables based upon their age. To make it a little bit more useful, we might move that over next to the old age variable so we can see them in a little bit more of a neat and organized way. And if we can check, we could compare the age with the age ordinal and we should see that it's been all done correctly. Now we've done this as a way to use this as a coding variable and we're going to look at that when it comes to our t-test and our um, ANOVAs for the next variables. But keep in mind that we could actually get very, very specific with these variables that we created. So they don't have to be as simple as purely meeting one condition. Um, we could actually combine things such as split file, select cases to identify particular coding variables and then use those as the coding variables. Now in the text section below the video, I've provided a link that gives a little bit more information on using commands such as or instead of and. In the previous one we used and as in they met two criteria, criteria A and criteria B. We could also do or within that. Um, and we can combine split file and select cases to get very specific and perhaps use these to identify our potential coding variables, which we then manually create ourselves.